Welcome back everyone, I'm your host Storm, and today I have another unboxing. I haven't done one of these in a long time now, actually. Uh, this is the 2016 Megaton uh, featuring Yugi. Uh, th th this is like one of two, the other one has features Kyber and obviously the Tormentor behind him. This one is Yugi and uh, Yami Yugi and Slifer. Uh, the 2016 Megatons, uh, I've actually had this one for a long time. I'm just now getting around to doing the unboxing for it, or the reveal for it you know well whatever um the 2016 megatons are bigger than previous ones and apparently these ones are going to be only done uh, apparently once a year i think from what i read so for 2016 only two of them uh yugi and kyber and like i said this one's yugi one i found this in the store picked it up and i just haven't opened it until until now anyway uh well, hold up. Before we look at that, let's actually get the cellophane off of it. Right. Just to see what we get inside of here. Oh, God, I haven't had a tin in a long time. That inside. I have a few other tents. Um, I haven't gotten a new one in a long time. This is nice. This is very nice. Let's see. Like I said, on the on the front, on the on the top of it, Yami Yugi or Atem, and Sly for the Sky Dragon. On the side here is. I'll be honest. I have no idea who that is. I have no idea which monster this is. I've been out of the game for a long time. Honestly. Other side. Oh, same monster. I assume he's some sort of spellcaster. I have no idea who he is. Let's see on the back. Let's see. Shonen Jump Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game 2016 Mega 10. This Yu-Gi-Oh! Slide for Mega 10 includes three 2016 Mega 10 packs, one Secret Rare Slide for the Sky Dragon. Oh, nice. That's cool. I, I don't know if I actually had... No, I do have a real Egyptian God card. It's the alternate artwork for Obelisk the Tormentor. That's the only one I've ever had. That's the only real one I've ever had. I've had fake ones in the past. Never a real one other than the Obelisk the Tormentor one that I have, the legal one. The one that's, um, he kind of looks like he has sort of a pharaoh's crown on his head. It's, it's, again, it's the, it's the alternate artwork. The card itself is orange rather than being blue like in the anime. That's the one I have. I like it. I kind of want to get all the god cards too, all, every, every different version of the god cards, if I, can, if I can get around to doing that. Let's see, two ultra rare cards. Ebon High Magician. Hey. Mm. Wait, Ebon High Magician? Am I thinking of the other one? No, damn. I want Ebon Illusion Magician, not Ebon High Magician. I have to deal with that. And Dark Magician. <clears throat> Two ultra cards, Ebon High Magician and Dark Magician. I've got to play them Dark Magician cards, but I can use another one. And three super rare cards. Fuck. Different Dimension something. I forgot what the three Ds are supposed to stand for. Flame King Genghis. Dragonox the Empowered Warrior and Perform Pro Pendulum Sorcerer. Oh, nice. According to this, each mega. I don't know if you can read this, probably not, but uh, each mega pack contains one secret rare, one ultra rare, one super rare, one rare, and 12 common cards, including cards from the following booster sets Cross Souls, Clash of Rebellions, Dimension of Chaos, and Breakers of Shadow. Alright. For ages 6 and up. Well, <clears throat> that's good enough for me. Six and up. Six plus. Remember that. Oh, cool. It's actually cool. This, more stuff to unbox. This is the, one of the legal versions of, of um, Sly for the Sky Dragon, one of the Egyptian guard cards. My god, this is so small. I just always forget how small these cards are. I really do. Every Egyptian God card has several different versions of them. There are the original versions with the blue obelisk card, the red slifer card, and the, I guess, gold um, wing dragon and Brawl card. Those are all illegal. Those are absolutely factually illegal. They cannot be used at all, ever. 
uh, and they eventually came out with alternate artworks for all those cards, making them legal. And then eventually came out with new cards with the original anime artwork, um, you know, in on orange cards, on orange effect cards. What kind of always bothered me though is that despite the fact that the anime and whoops, sorry, out of focus in the camera, sorry, yeah, there we go. Um, what bothers me though is despite the fact that the anime insists that Slifer is a dragon, the real card game, it's a divine beast. Not that it really bothers me that much, but well, I guess it's better that it's a divine beast because it makes it far more unique amongst the cards. There were only, let me think, um, five or six monsters that are divine beast in the series. All three different god cards, plus Raw's spear and phoenix modes. They made those later on as well. There you go. Okay. Let's see. The legal slice of the sky dragon card. And what's this thing? Oh, just, oh. I was honestly hoping this would be one of the newer artworks. I have this one already, but you know what? I'll take it because this one's actually better in better shape than the one I have. E oh, all right, that's Ebon High Magician. Let's see, Ebon High Magician. Yep. Let's see. Rank seven, dark attribute, spellcast attack, XZ's monster. 2300 attack, 2800 defense. Sorry the camera's out of focus, I can't get that straightened out. Let's see. Two level 7 spellcaster type monsters. Okay. While this card has Xyz material, you can activate a quick play spell card or, tra or a trap card from your hand during your opponent's turn, turn by detaching one Xyz material from this card at activation. If this Xyz summon card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if this Xyz summon card you control is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one dark magician, I'm sorry, one dark spellcaster type monster from your hand or deck. Then you can destroy one card on the field. Not a bad effect. That, that's a good effect. Very, very good, I think. Especially if you're opening a spellcaster deck. But I find that Ebon Illusion Magician is a lot better to me, considering that you can you can detach an Xyz material to special summon a, a spellcaster monster from your deck to the field, and then if it's a normal mo if, if you have a normal monster attacking another monster on the field, um, Ebon Illusion Magician. I think I think it's once per turn. I have to double check. But Ebon Illusion Magician can um, banish any card in the field before the monster attacks. So, like, say there's only one monster in the field, or uh, there are two monsters in the field, the opponent's side of the field. If you have, let's say, Dark Magician, have that attack, you can immediately activate Ebon Illusion Magician's effect to banish one of the monsters your opponent's controlling. So that way, the, the, the way to your opponent's life points is a lot clearer. It's a lot easier to get to to them. Eh. But the Ebon High Magician is fine, too. And I'm, and I'm knocking the card. I, I like the card. It's... I kind of prefer Ebon Illusion Magician if I have the choice. DDD Flame King Genghis. I do not remember what the 3D stands for, sorry. Let's see. Level 6 Fire Attributes Fiend Type Fusion Monster. Tw 2000 Attack, 1500 Defense. There was stats. Hope this is actually good. Two different dimension monsters. If another different dimension monster or monsters is special summoned to your field while you control this face of card, except during the damage step. You can target one different dimension monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only use this this effect of dip, of different dimension D Flame King Genghis once per turn. If this card is destroyed by battle or or if this card is in its own its possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can target one dark contract in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Okay, well, I guess that depends on what kind of deck you're running. If you're running a different dimension deck, I suppose Flame King Genghis will come quite in handy for you. Uh, I know that stats aren't everything these days in the card game. Attack and defense points aren't the be-all, end-all for cards, like they, like it used to be, but... I don't know, 2000... Uh, well, I don't use different dimension cards or DDD cards, so I can't say for sure. But I, it, good effects, I think, for what they are. But I suppose you put that in an actual deck that's, that can utilize those effects a lot better, it would turn out a lot, much better for you. Oh, wow. Now, this is something crazy. I don't have any pendulum monsters. 
Like I said, I've been out of the game for a long time now. I'm, I'm just starting to get back into it now. I don't have any pendulum monsters except now. That's so weird. That's so weird in real life. Pendulum monsters, if you don't know, they're half monster card and half spell card. And that was a goddamn mistake by Konami that they're trying to fix. Dragonox the Empowered Warrior, level 4, dark attribute, warrior type pendulum monster, 1500 attack points, 1500 defense points, and a pendulum scale of 7. Let's see, it's a monster effect. Once per turn, you can discard one card, then target one warrior or spellcaster type monster with 2000 or less attack in your graveyard. Special summon it in face on defense position. Mm. Great, I think. And it's pendulum effect. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can destroy this card, then end the battle phase. That works, I guess. Considering it's, it's considering you can just pendulum summon back to the field, I think that works. Oh, another one. Perform pop. Oh, great. I have two. I have two. Oh, this, this is gonna work so great. Pendulum monsters were a fucking mistake, I think. I, I like them, I, I enjoy them a lot, but that was a goddamn mistake by Konami. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. Perform pro pendulum sorcerer. Level 4 earth attribute spellcaster type pendulum monster. 1500 attack, 800 defense, and a pendulum scale of 2. If this card is special summon, you can target up to 2 cards you control. Destroy them, and if you do, add perform pro monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, except perform pro pendulum sorcerer. Equal to the number of cards destroyed. You can only use this effect of perform pro, perform pro pendulum sorcerer once per turn. And that's what's pendulum effect. Hmm. One second. Hey. That's interesting. I'm sorry, I thought I saw something. Never mind. Let's see. If a, if a performable monster or monsters is pendulum summoned to your fields, all performable monsters you currently control and gain 1,000 attack until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. Alright, very good. Performable monsters have kind of a reputation these days, or they used to anyway. It, it, it's always weird. New cards come in that they make a storm in the game, and then they'll quickly usher it out when new booster packs are released or when the new, the, the new ban list comes in. Let's see. Well, three of these. Okay. Well, let's go for it. Here's the pack one. Oh. That new card smell. That is good. There are a lot of cards in this. Jeez. Let's see. I'm not going to go through all these cards. I'm not going to read every last little fact that we're going to be here all goddamn day. But let's see what we have. Statue of Anguish Pattern. Uh, oh, cool. It's, it's a trap monster. That's cool. I always love those. Extinction on schedule. Hmm. Perform pull spring goose. Well, I guess I can use that. What was it called? Perform pull sorcerer. Right, I can use that pretty well now. Shira Nui Smith. Dr. Frankendurp. Psychic monster. Ignite Paladin. Another pendulum monster. A normal pendulum monster, too, is that? I'm sorry, a normal pendulum monster too at that. Jesus. Oh, Fright for a Chimera. Alright. Fright for a Sabertooth. This one's ultra rare. Rare, ultra rare. Or oh, is it super rare? No, this is rare. Rare, ultra rare, and then beyond that, I've got no fucking idea. Odd Eyes Fusion. Cool. Twin Twisters. Oh, alright. Rank Up Magic, Raptor's Force. I could probably use that. Edge Imp Chain. Perform for Trump Girl. Shira Nui Samurai. Ooh, I like this one. Aegean the Sea Caster. Perform for Bit Bite Turtle. Bit Bite Turtle. I'm surprised I said that. How many cards are this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I lost count. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, cool. Who's pack number two, or mega pack rather? What we got here? And again, I'm not gonna redo every single call like I did with that small booster pack. Oh yeah, with Slap the Sky Dragon, and we're gonna be here all day if I try to do that. 
we have here soprano the melodious songstress all right perform pool raincoat no, i'm sorry perform pool rain goat an animated uh, raincoat i kind of think that'd be a cool idea yeah whatever bubble barrier mystery shell dragon oh it's a worm Side note, Worm Monsters, that should have completely been an unarc type rather than being a type in the game. I think that's a waste of potential right there, but that, I'll talk about that some other time. Oh, Raid Raptor Mimicry Lanius. Hmm. Aroma Draw. Oh, cool. Pendulum Reborn. What the hell does this one say? Neptibus the Atlantean Prince. I couldn't even read, it, read the, the name because it, it's, this is an ultra rare card and the, the gold lettering just wouldn't show up in the light. <gasps> oh! Scarlet Red Dragon Arch Fiend. Oh my god, I want this card. For, okay, when I first saw it, for a second I thought it was going to be one of the hot Red Dragon Arch Fiend cards, but it's not. I like this card though. Scarlet Red Dragon Arch Fiend, I like this card. I'm, I'm going to use it at some point. Hmm. Shang Shen Magician. Alright. Edge of Chain, another one. The Thumper Trump Girl again. Backup Rider. Magispector Fox QB. Hmm. Phantom Griffin. Do I want that 2000 attack? 2000 attack, normal monster. You know, it kind of has to be 2000 attack points because normal monsters have just gone the way of the goddamn dinosaurs. Uh, no pun intended for this game. If you, if you play this game, you know normal monsters are fucking useless these days. They are just... They're useless. Forget them. Putting out a normal monster with 2,000 attack points, you kind of have to. Because otherwise, they're not going to get any use other than in a normal deck. And even then... I mean, I'm no expert. I'm not a... Well, I, I, I'm not a master. Let me say that. A master of this game. But normal decks, they have their uses, but... They're not gonna wing. They're, they're, they're not gonna take you all the way. Ugh, retaliating cockroach. Ugh, these cards. That's that. And then, well, let's go. Last one. Hard to open. Oh, there we go. What do we have here? Come on. Come on. There we go. Don't want to bend them. Black Wing Harmaton the Dust. No. For a second, I thought I didn't have a head. Please. Dragon's Bind. Oh, okay. I can actually use this with the um, Starlight Red Dragon Archfiend. On the Desk Bots. Cool. Desk Bot 005. Sharon Newey Smith. Once again. Dr. Mike and Jump again. Ignite Paladin again. Different Dimension, D, whatever, DDD, Oracle King, D Arc. Alright. 200 attack points. Alright, that's kind of good. Oh, look at that. Assault, mm. Assault Blackwing, Rakiri the Rain Shower. This, got a, this has a counterpart called Assault Blackwing, Chidori the Rain Sprinkling. Funny, if you're a Naruto fan. Or however those two are supposed to relate to each other. Rakiri and Chidori. Galaxy Cyclone. I didn't want to make a Galaxy deck. Oh, that's cool. Number... What is the S stand for? Number S39 Utopia Prime. The C stands for Chaos. I don't know what the S stands for. Twilight Ninja Shingetsu. Hmm. Following. Ah, funny. Following, following. Eh, that's funny. Wake up Magic Raptors Force again. Oh, another AG in the secrets. Castrum. Performable bit by turtle once more. And performable drummerella. 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 Jeez. Sarsaparilla. I don't know. So that's cool. Let's see. Let's take this out. And, yep. It's empty inside. You know, I actually could use more space for cards. So I think I will place these. Um. Uh, a lot of space. Well, I'll, I'll just do this for now. Oh, there. Yeah. Is it on the cards? Then we have Slifer. 
As much as I like the Egyptian guard cards, unfortunately, they're not that good. Believe it or not. Um... Honestly, I I think this I like the God cards more. I think, but the Sacred Beast cards from GX, they're a lot better to me. Especially if you put them in a deck that's gonna work. Like if you take, like if you take um, Ravael, Lord of Phantasms, put them in, put them into a Fiend deck. That thing is just gonna crush almost anyone you come across. Or if you put Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder, into a deck that has a lot of continuous spell cards. Like, say, put it into a Crystal Beast deck, that thing is just going to, again, dominate. Or at least it would have back then, anyway. <clears throat> the game has definitely changed. Now we have, we have fucking, um, Synchro Monsters, Xyz Monsters, Pendulums, Link Monsters, which I still fucking hate. I do not like the idea of Link Monsters, but I'm going to get those cards anyway because I need to keep up with the game. And things are changing very, very rapidly. Well, that's that. <clears throat> um, thanks for watching. Um, I think I'm definitely going to do another video where I go through my other card collection, my other tens. That one's going to take a long time. I have a lot of cards to get through. And I'm going to see if I can find the, the Kyber tin, too, if I can find that. Maybe online or in a store. Like I said, I found this in a store randomly. I just I picked it up. Did open it for a very long time. I opened it now. It's good to have more cards. It's good to have more cards. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.